Good evening, y'all. This is Christopher Derek Scott for the GoPro Radio Network. We just want to give a shout out, great movies, but we also want to dedicate this segment to Bernie Casey. God bless him. If you're anyone who's an old school film geeks and newcomer film geeks, you should really check out some of his body of work. Start off with The Guns of Magnificent Seven. That's his very first film that he started off with after he retired playing for the Los Angeles Rams. But also here, this movie is a very classic one that started in the black exploitation era at the time in the 70s, a movie called Hitman. It was also a remake from an old 1971 British film called Get Carter because they had a linkage between the same novel, Jack's Return Home, written by Ted Lewis. Highly recommended to see both of them. And another good one, an action film called Sharky's Machine. That's uh, Burt Reynolds and his directorial film. He shot this all in Atlanta, has some strong stunt work and also a great novel based on the book from William Deal. And also the classic uh, Out the Window from the Big Tower scene with Dar Robinson. May he rest in peace. Another good one I recommend if anyone deal with racial tensions, this is a highly recommended one called Tick, Tick, Tick. It's a star in Jim Brown, George Kennedy, Doug Taylor, and Bernie Casey in a good part, but it also explains more about racial tensions when a black sheriff goes to a white town which is kind of interesting and very worth watching. Another one who's always a big fan of uh, basketball, here's another good one. Cornbread Earl and Me, starring with a young Lawrence Fishburne, if you can see right there. Also, Jamal Wilkes, who was known as Keith Wilkes in the uh, film. Also, Bernie Casey in that film, he played the cop in the movie, and sometimes tragedy struck when a guy who's going good usually end up turn it into like a dream deferred blanks and hues and finally for those who always those horror films in that same era in black exploitation here's a recommendation although i don't own the rights to this uh dvd but this is a good one dr black and mr hyde a retelling of dr jekyll and mr hyde but in a colored sort of way or a black way but it's worth watching just to check out some of his work but if you have any other chance to check out some of his work, here's a recommendation you should check out. I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, another classic when he started as uh, best remember for that as John Slade, written and directed by Keenan Ivory Wayans, also stars the late Robin Harris, the late John Vernon, Kadeem Hardison, Damon Wayans, Hawthorne James, and also the late Isaac Hayes, and also the late Steve James, God bless him and Jim Brown in there. Let's talk about the parody of black exploitation films. And also recommendation, check out another 48 hours. He has like a small part playing uh, Reggie Ammon's bodyguard inside the prison. Always talk about, promise me Reggie, promise! I'm not gonna ruin that. Just check that out, it's worth watching. We wanna say peace to Bernie Casey and God bless him for his work. Cause if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have any good black actors to see that give us inspiration in our days when we were kids. I want to say to GoPro Radio Network, thank you.